So you may be wondering what happens if you did not get a booster shot this week or you run a little behind in getting it. You know, timing of that shot is important. We've heard a lot of people talking about that. Dana Morris, he has been looking into those questions today. He joins us now with what he has found. Hi, Dana. Well, Tatum, I talked with Dr. Rohit Saravanan earlier today, and he tells me that there's zero reason anyone should not get the second shot because, number one, it's free, and number two, there's a great benefit in it, even if you're a little bit late. But if you don't get it, here's what you need to know. Dr. Sarah Vannon says from the time of the first shot of either the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine in their respective time periods until the second shot, studies show that people are about 65% immune. Or in other words, 65 people out of 100 would not contract COVID after exposure. Again, in both vaccines, that number rises to about 95% after a second shot. But even if you're running behind, Dr. Sarah Vannon says there's another three week period that you can get the second shot for either drug and would see an above 90% immunity rate. Though predicting anything beyond that, there's not enough data at this time. Uh, we don't know if you miss your second shot because that's not studied. Uh, it was designed as a two shot series with the, with the booster being either three weeks or four weeks later, depending on Pfizer or Moderna. So we don't have any data to say how much will the immunity be going forward. But if I had to take a guess, I would probably say it's still about 60, 65 percent. So why wouldn't you get the second shot? Well, it is more likely to give you side effects. That about 40 percent of the people will have some side effects. The side effects can range anything from the arm soreness at the site of injection all the way out to a day in bed because you have fever and chills. But Dr. Sarah Vannon says the benefit of that second shot far exceeds any risk as you're greatly reducing the chance of getting actually sick. Even the people that do have uh, the fever and the chills and the body aches and have to basically take off work for a whole day, maybe even two days, even those people, they are not sick. They are reacting. So the important thing is the shot cannot make you sick because it's not the virus it's just a piece of mrna so it can't make you sick but now again tatum as you mentioned yesterday or excuse me today was the very last day of the drive through clinic at ratliff stadium so all vaccines from here on out and the boosters will be handled by medical center hospital in clinic settings and the booster shot specifically will be distributed over to ORMC. They will contact you for that booster appointment. Reporting in Odessa, Dana Morris, Newswest 9.